Hi, let's start off with some one-step linear equations. Okay. One-step linear equation just means it takes one mathematical operation to solve the problem. For example, x plus 3 equals 5. To solve this problem, we actually need to get x by itself and this 3, we need to get rid of 3 or move it somewhere else. Okay, Because there's positive 3 here, we can subtract 3 from both sides. And this way, on the left side, a positive 3 minus a 3 will give you 0, so it's x plus 0. And since we, whatever we do on the left side, we do to the right side, we're also going to subtract 3 here. And 5 minus 3 is 2. And then we have x plus 0 equals 2. But because it's 0, we don't need to write it. So I'm going to just erase that. The answer is just x equals 2. Well, how about if the equation is a little different? How about it's x minus 4 equals 7? Well, if we have a minus 4 here, we can do the opposite operation of subtraction, which is addition. So instead of minus 4, I'm going to add 4 here on the left side. And I'm going to add 4 on the right side to balance out the equation. So minus 4 and positive 4 and add up to 0. So we just have x left. And on the right side, we have 7 plus 4. That's 11. And that's your answer. x equals 11. Well, how about this one? Negative 5 plus x equals 2. Well, we're going to do the same operation. Even though the number's in the front, we do the same thing. It's negative 5, so I'm going to add 5 here. I'm going to add 5 on the other side. And what happens on the left side? Negative 5 and positive 5, that will cancel. You're left with x equals 2 plus 5, and you get 7. Let's take a look at multiplication. Let's say we have 2x equals 4. Well, how do we solve this? All right. If 2 and x are together by multiplication, and they are, we can do the opposite, which is division. So we can divide by 2, divide by 2 on both sides, and 2 over 2 is going to become 1. All right. So it just becomes 1x equals 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Another way we can look at it and using the same problem, 2x equals 4. Well, instead of dividing by 2, we can also multiply by the reciprocal of 2. Right? And 2 is the same as 2 over 1, so the reciprocal is 1 over 2. And we can actually multiply both sides by 1 over 2. Right, and what happens when you multiply by 1 over 2? It's going to cancel 1 half times 2 over 1, so it's going to become 1. Get x equals 4 times 1 over 2, which equates to 2 also. Right? Both ways you get the same answer. The reciprocal is going to come in handy for some more complicated problems. For example, 2 third x equals 4. Okay. Right, over here we have a fraction in front of the x. Okay. And if you divide this by 2 thirds, you can still get the same answer, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated. An easier way is to use reciprocal and multiply by it. Well, the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is going to be 3 over 2, right? We're just flipping the top number and the bottom number. So we multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 3 over 2. And then the other side, 3 over 2. And let's see what we get. 3 and 3 is going to cancel. 2 and 2 is going to cancel. We're left with x on the left side. On the right side, what we have is... 4 times 3, which is 12, 
over 2. And 12 over 2 is the same as 6. And that's your answer, 6. Okay, let's try one more of these. 4 over 5, y equals 6. Okay. Again, you'll know, look at this fraction, 4 over 5 and see what the reciprocal of 4 or 5 is and then we'll multiply it. Take a wild guess. That's right. We're going to multiply by 5 over 4. Again, the 5 and 5 will cancel, 4 and 4 will cancel. And this happens all the time. When you multiply by the reciprocal, you always get 1. So the only thing that's left is actually the y. And you have a 6 times 5 on the other side which is 30 over 4 and that's your final answer yeah. you can leave as improper fraction or if you want to simplify even more you will get around 7 and 2 fourths okay or either way okay lastly we have negative, let's say, 3 over 2, n equals, uh, let's make it 8. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. But don't forget that the reciprocal of negative 3 over 2 is not just 2 over 3. It's actually a negative 2 over 3 negative 2 over 3. Okay, let's multiply this out. Well, 2 and 2 is going to cancel, and 3 and 3 is going to cancel. But what happens to negatives? We have two negatives here. Actually, that cancels to be a positive also. Alright, because a negative times a negative is a positive. We get just n equals 8 times negative 2, that's negative 16 over 3. Okay. And we can leave the answer as that. Hopefully this will help. All right. And have fun.